What's up, guys? Welcome to America Patriot News. And today I have a video for you guys, and it has Matt Gates in it. And it also has Pauline Luna and a few other people. And in the video, they're talking about how the situation's a little bit different from the last time they decided to change the speakership and how uh, it it's not a good time to do it right now. Right. And uh, this first clip, Matt Gates talks about how uh, first thing he game planned on how uh, the votes would happen before they did, because he was uh, making sure that the Democrats wouldn't have a chance to take over the House. OK, so here's my perspective on the motion to vacate. <laughs> when I filed the motion to vacate, I thought war gamed, strategized about how a four seat Republican majority would then reelect a, another speaker, because it's not enough to have the votes to remove somebody. You have to actually replace them with somebody else. And I really, really took great care to promise this audience and the entire country that under no circumstance would there be a Democrat Speaker of the House. I knew there might have been a few that maybe a little iffy. Would they vote for maybe a Josh Gottheimer style Democrat or a Trone style Democrat? Uh, but indeed, I, I did not believe that the prisoner's dilemma of a four seat majority would allow five or six to be able to break off together that 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 wouldn't be available. Now, uh, I understand how it's different from when he did it and from what's going on now with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Thomas Massey. First thing, they had a four or five vote, vote majority. They had a lot more leeway. And not only that, there's no way you're going to have that many Republicans go over and vote for a Democrat because they'll be destroying their career. Right, right. Well, there's a one vote majority right now. So, I mean, I don't think it's a smart decision at all to try it. Yeah, uh, I don't think so either. And now we're going to go ahead and go to this next clip where uh, he's going to be giving you guys the uh, awful news. How it looks like to him, there's some people that will actually cross the aisle and vote for a Democrat as the Speaker of the House. But here is what I regret to inform you. I do believe in a one seat majority. There could be one or two or three of my colleagues who would take a bribe in one form or another in order to deprive the Republicans of a majority at all. And let me tell you what a Democrat speaker looks like. Their leadoff hitter will be declaring Donald Trump an insurrectionist and setting up a barrier to him being able to become the president of the United States if he is lawfully and legally elected, as I expect he will be. That'll be their leadoff hitter. And then the chaser to that shot will be a massive spending package that looks a lot more like the American Rescue Plan. They will blow past every concept of every cap ever imagined. You'll, you'll be looking at universal basic income. Mm -hmm. You could be looking at packing the Supreme Court and so the risk that one or two of my corrupt Republican colleagues might take a bribe, take a walk, feign an ailment, <laughs> and flip this thing to the Democrats is, is a risk that is too high for me at this time. But he's totally right, Matt. I don't like Johnson either. At first, I thought the Democrats screwed up and gave us Johnson. But the truth is, Johnson is the Democrats guy. He's put everything they've put in front of him forward. I, I can't even believe he's funding Ukraine. He's funding Israel. He's doing everything we don't want him to do. But we can't risk losing control of the House of Representatives because he's right. The first thing they'll do is make it so Trump can't be elected president. Well, we also got to remember He's not only fun, he's not doing what the Democrats want to do. He's doing what the Union Party, because half the Republicans are okay with this. Actually, it's more than half. It's quite a few of them are, are okay with what's going on here, because that's what the deep state, that's what the military industrial complex wants to happen. So it's just not Democrats, and it's Republicans too. And it's a perfect example of what's wrong with politics this, nowadays. And what's wrong with the Republican Party? You can't trust them to do what's right. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. Um, we're being, you know, you're going to be forced to, as an American, look at each individual candidate you have the opportunity to vote for and try and vote for the one that will cause the least damage to get into that point. 
Anna, I want to hand it to you. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to tell you directly on what we're hearing right now. So I'm just going to tell them. Yeah. Um, so I heard that when, if and when the motion to vacate is introduced, that there will be immediate resignations of a couple of more moderate members of Congress. And in the event that that happens, that ultimately means it does go to a, a Democrat speaker. And so we're in a predicament. Um, I do not like or support what Mike Johnson has doing. And I think that he has absolutely gone back on what he promised us. But at this time, that is no kidding a possibility. And as a result of that, I'm hoping that that does not move forward. Andy, your thoughts? Yeah, I would agree with both of you. I think the timing uh, of, of a motion to vacate uh, is ill-timed. I, th- I think it does result in uh, us being in a, in a worse place, both from uh, both from an election standpoint and the potential of losing the House. And so um, I, among others, were trying to tamp down the talk uh, of a motion to vacate. Let's stay focused on the job at hand. And look, uh, we lost the fight today, but there are other fights ahead. You never give up. Again, to go back to the founding fathers, the, there were nights where, where the night was dark and hope was lost, but they continue to fight, they continue to pray, and they continue to do the right thing, and that's what we'll continue to do. Yeah, essentially, we both agree with them. There's no reason to risk this right now. It's much to lose with how much to gain. If we get President Trump, we'll get a new speaker. Yeah, yeah. well, the chances are it looks like the Democrats might actually win the House. It's very close there. But uh, the other thing is uh, that's also if that happens, let's say if they actually get him out of there and then you have the retirement and uh, retirement of people just leaving and not staying their full term, it automatically goes to Democrats at that point because they'll have the majority. And right. then they not only, you know, uh, Matt Gates mentioned about them using the 14th Amendment, which they'll have a right to do so. Uh, another thing they could do is actually not even during the uh, process of counting the, uh, the Electoral College, they can actually stop that. You know, there's all sorts of stuff that they could do to make sure Trump doesn't get in there. And I think we need to actually think smart and look at this. I think Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, Thomas Massey is not seeing the potential of what could happen. And Thomas Massey, I don't, I, I think his, uh, his decision to actually groove Marjorie Taylor Greene is more uh, has to do with his ethics than it actually has to do with uh, anything else. Marjorie Taylor Greene, I don't know. I don't know where she's coming from with this. I don't think uh, she's looking at it at, at, like she should. I'll tell you what, if they put this motion forward, um, I call bullshit right there. They're bribed to call this forward because it's an obvious way to give the House to the Democrats and not let Trump be elected president. If they actually take it to the to the floor for a vote, um, I think the fix is in. Well, I don't agree with Thomas Massey. I don't think that's the case. Thomas Massey is a libertarian. And he don't take bribes. He don't even take money from people. He don't even take, take money from companies or anything like that. He's a lot like Rand, uh, Rand Paul in that way. Uh, now, Marjorie Taylor Greene makes me wonder. I think it more has to do with his ethics is why he's actually agreeing with Marjorie Taylor Greene. It, I, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, actual uh, money going in his pocket. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene, perhaps... You know, uh, yeah, I just am saying if somehow this goes forward, that don't smell right at all. Well, I'd say Thomas Massey, uh, if it happens, he's a useful idiot. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you're new to the channel and you like our content, what's taking you so long to subscribe? Subscribe, please. We really appreciate it. Really helps us with algorithm. And if you would, Please turn the uh, notifications bell on just so you know when we make new content. We're live Monday morning. Have a wonderful rest of your day.